Hello everyone, this is me Sanya. How you guys are doing? I hope you all are doing really well today guys. And if you guys are new to my channel, watch me for the first time. So hello everyone, this is me Sanya. I do makeup tutorials, haul videos, such as videos, everything regarding makeup and styling guys. But I've recently started doing some vlogs too. So if you guys are interested to see my vlogging, make sure you check out my description box for that. All the links and everything is going to be down below. And today's video, as you have seen on my title, is going to be a review on this tinted serum so without further talking too much guys let's just get started so it says all the power of a hyaluronic acid serum now tinted it also says instantly unifies and brightens appearance of complexion it also gives you that nude radiant finish has one percent of hyaluronic acid plumps the skin with moisture which we all need of course this is the mandatory one and it also gives your skin smoother texture with dehydration marks reduced it also says it's suitable for sensitive skin so i've already moisturized my face i'm going to use my next marshmallow primer just gently rubbing it all over my skin so this one comes with this dropper and it has these droppers inside which looks really cool color i don't know whether this is going to match my skin but we'll find a way out so i'm going to just going to apply this and let's just see how this one works Oh my goodness, no, this just went on my clothes. And for my sponge today, I'm going to use this Real Technique uh, Complexion Sponge, guys. You can use it for foundation and BB cream as well. Such a pretty color. It got this Real Technique. I don't know whether the camera is catching or not, but this one has got the Real Technique logo to it. Make sure your sponge is nice and damp. And this is a damp makeup sponge, guys. So I'm just going to spread it. Wow, this is super flawless. This is extremely flawless. It got a really nice shine because, of course, it's serum and it has that hyaluronic acid to it as well which will give your face a nice glow like a natural glow it's not too bad i think the shade is perfect on my skin just gently i feel like the makeup sponge absorbs as well so if you use a brush but then you have to use your sponge just to smooth out everything this is like a really lightweight foundation, I would say. So if you guys don't like a real heavy foundation, you guys can go with the tint. You guys need to put some comments and need to tell me like what you think about the foundation. I'm like, what you think about the tinted serum because I feel like it's really nice. It just gives your face a natural glow, but definitely not making your skin uh, too heavy. And it also gives that beautiful radiant to your skin it is really nice actually and it is really lightweight it doesn't feel like you have applied any foundation on your skin uh, definitely it will feel like you have applied a cream or something on your face but not like a heavy heavy foundation i feel like let me apply one more coat of it just because i like my base to go a little thick i'm like not that, that thick Just a little bit just to see if it can build up it has buildable of course if you feel like you have any acne scars or anything on your skin so this is definitely buildable guys and I feel like this looks really flawless so next I'm going to go with this uh, matte take from Fenty Beauty and the shade is truffle
to blend this cream contour I'm going to use this Real Technique 204 brush guys this is such a beautiful cream contour guys you can see this is super easy to blend um, the shade is perfect And for my concealer today, I'm going to go with my all-time favorite e.l.f. concealer. It's in the shade Light Beige. And for blush today, I'm going to go with this liquid blush from Iconic London and the shade is Power Pink. And I'm going to use the same blending brush that I use for my cream contour. Tap, tap, tap. Spread, spread, spread. I just went off camera and did my eyebrows guys and I used this Makeup Revolution uh, Brow Pomade and this is in the shade Dark Brown and this is a really good brow pomade as well. Next I'm going to bake my face and I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Loose Baking Powder and the shade is Banana Bread. This powder has almost finished guys as you can see like that's, that's what I'm left with. So just blending everything nicely so that there is no craziness. And for my eyeshadow today, I'm just going to go very basic on my eyes. So I'm just going to take the shade Filthy. I'm just going to place it all over my eyes. And then next I'm going to go with the shade Juicy. Time to put some false lashes and this is from Unicorn Cosmetics and uh, this is Bubble Pop. So next I'm going to go with my mascara and I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Legend Lashes Mascara guys and I'm going to go... <coughs> Sorry. And I'm going to go with the volume one. So next I'm going to move with my contour and I'm going to use this Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to use this shade So next I'm going to go with my highlighter and I'm going to use this Ofra highlighter and this is the mini Ofra highlighter in the shade Blissful. I'm taking this brush from Morphe and this is M501. Just very light guys, not too much of highlighter today.
And for lipstick today, I'm going to go with this Soap X lipstick from Makeup Revolution. And the shade is Fudge. And to lock my makeup, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray Party On Light, Stay On Light. This is the final look, guys, and I think this tinted serum is really good because this has given my skin a really flawless makeup. As you can see, this is a perfect base for your makeup. Though it's not that uh, full coverage one, but I feel like it's not too bad. It's kind of like in the medium to light to medium coverage, but depends on how much you're building it up. Also keeps your skin nice and hydrated. And this is not a sponsor video, guys. So the L'Oreal is not sponsoring me anything. This is my own personal review on this item. So yeah, this was the makeup look for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to give it a thumbs up guys because we all are working hard for that so make sure you share with your family members and your friends also tell them to subscribe to my channel and we'll see you on my next video and don't forget before that i do have an instagram account as well where i post some amazing videos guys and also i am on tiktok too and i have the same id for both all the links of the items are going to be down below on my description box for that show some love we'll see you on my next video until then take care of yourself and be safe bye